I, John, Revelation 1, 9, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation and the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ. This man made up the decision when he came. This may be the lot of my life. This may be where I'm stranded. I have no congregation, but I have determined that I am going to be in the Spirit. I'm not going to lose the fire of God. If it's only me, I'm going to worship Him. I'm going to get to know Him. I've got time to get to know my Jesus better than I've ever known Him before. When the only thing that fully satisfies your heart is your ministry of prayer and worship unto the Lord, when you are satisfied with feeding Christ, when you have given yourself completely and you are focused on this one thing, my calling on this earth first of all is to be a minister unto Him. I am in full-time ministry when my whole focus is not what I can accomplish, what I can build, what I can do, what I can see as results. I'm in full-time ministry when I give myself to prayer and to Christ and being on my mind day and night. Every waking hour, Jesus is being ministered to. On the subway, on the job, that quiet prayer that reaches up to Him, that ministry unto Jesus. That worship and praise, because they minister to the Lord. They meet, in the, before they go to work, they meet the Lord, and through the day, and then before they go to bed at night, they have this precious time, they're ministering unto the Lord. That is full-time ministry. But the greatest call and the greatest need today is for men and women who will impose upon themselves an isolation from all other voices. An isolation where they say, God, I'm not going to listen to the voice of man. I'm not going to get involved. Now, I'm not talking about God, the counselor, or for the ministry. But I'm not going to listen to the plans of man. I'm not going to be guided by this. I'm going to be guided by the Holy Spirit. I want to be in the Spirit and walk in the Spirit. And I want to be governed by the Holy Spirit. And I want to hear that voice only. He said, my sheep know my voice. They will hear when I call. And I believe that with all of my heart that when people begin to seek God with everything in them, and when Christ is the only focus, First thing you get is your discernment back, and then you begin to hear clearly things. He takes you into the heavenlies, and He began to reveal. You will know what's coming. God will speak to you about your family. He will speak to you about your future. He'll speak to many, many things. God will speak to your heart when you give Him time and wait upon Him, and He becomes your focus, and you are in the full-time ministry, ministry to Christ. And this self-imposed Patmos experience where you don't fall for the competition. You don't fall for the designation of success as, as it's determined to date by so many people. You don't fall for so many voices calling, so many rantings of these voices. Networking. Ambition. Folks, when God can find a man or a woman who's willing to let everybody bypass him or her, let them go their way. Sit back and let them glory in what the world calls success. But a man or woman can set themselves in the Lord and say, Lord, none of this matters to me anymore. And it's a self-imposed exile. That doesn't mean you come away from ministry. No, it means that you come out of the secret closet. You come out of this exile, shutting away the voices of men, shutting away the voices so that I can hear the voice of the Holy Spirit and speak into my heart and my mind. The only thing that matters is that, Lord Jesus, I want my life to please you. And I want you to know, Jesus, and when I go into this secret closet with you, I'm here for you to minister unto you. And Lord, I'm going to sit here and wait for you, and I want you to speak. And I want to tell you, a man or woman who's shut in full-time ministry, Lord, that, mean, that doesn't mean you leave your job. doesn't mean you don't witness. No, in fact, you can be a very, very busy person and still have this Patmos exile that I call, where you have learned to shut out everything that would hinder you from hearing the voice of the Lord. Folks, what's going to happen, those who are not seeking God, those who need hear the trumpet call of the Lord Jesus to wake up and begin to seek Him and become a full-time minister unto Him so that you will have the resources, you will have the power of Christ in you, 
So the only way that you can make it in the days to come is to be close to Jesus. Not close to the church, not close to a pastor or a counselor, but close to Jesus. Having spent time with Him. I stand here to plead with you now. If there is one bit of apathy, if there's any lukewarmness, I beg and plead with you, run to Jesus.